Please make some noise for the curious couple from Kone. Good evening. We are the curious couple from Kone. And right now, we are going to do a demonstration of the ancient and honorable art of sword swallowing. Grab me a sword. Now, friends, swallowing a sword, probably one of the craziest things that a person can try to do. In recent history, several people have lost their lives attempting what you're about to see. I want to be very clear on this. This is not a trick. It's not an illusion. It's very real, extremely dangerous. Over 18 inches of solid steel to be swallowed from the point right down to the cross guard. Watch. Let's hear it for Heather Holiday, the world's most adorable sword swap. Make some noise for Heather. Now, friends, as I said, swallowing a sword is extremely dangerous. But it's not dangerous enough for Heather here. Oh, no, 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 no. So what she's going to be doing tonight for you fine folks is she is going to be swallowing not just one, but two solid steel swords at the same time. Everybody go. Now, friends, makes this so dangerous. As you can see, these swords are much longer than the one before, long enough to go all the way down inside her stomach cavity. Now, not only that, she has to be very careful. Make sure the swords don't crisscross like that back inside. If it's scissors like that, it could easily pinch and rip and tear all those important things on the inside. She would bleed internally and die. No, that's all. <laughs> but for you guys, almost anything. Here we go, friends. Two swords at the same time. Watch closely. You might learn something. Little Heather Holiday down the hatch without a scratch. Make some noise! And what goes in must come out. There's one, and there is number two. Heather Holly. You guys want to see more? Say, yeah! We thought you were going to say that. So Heather here, she still has one more sword she wants to get her hands on tonight. Now this next sword is not just bigger. It's not just meaner. It's not just longer, heavier, or nastier. It is all those things, but this one sword it's also a whole lot wavier. It's a serpentine blade. Everybody go, ah. And we can see. We can see that there's still some skeptics in the audience, some people that do not believe their very own eyes. I think that there's some trickery or shenanigans involved. So what we're going to do is we're going to look upon this fine audience and find just the appropriate person to verify that this sword is 100% solid steel and real. Who do we choose? We choose you. <laughs> yes. Yes, Mark, right. Come on up here. Right on up here. Right on up here. Right in the center. Now, Mark, what we want you to do right now is we want you to be the eyes and hands of everybody in the audience right now. Check out Heather's sword right here. Make sure it's the real thing. Make sure it doesn't bend or fold or collapse in any... Yeah, she'll take that. No, no, it's going inside her, so don't do that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Pretty solid, right? Yep. Would you say that's the real thing? Yep. He says it's the real thing, and that's a face you can trust right there. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, 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 you're not done yet. You're not done yet. This is going to be great. You're going to remember this for a long time. Here's what's going to happen right now. I'll take that. Heather's going to take that sword right there. She's going to put it up against those pretty little lips of hers. That sword is going to pass her lips. It's going to slide down her esophagus, enter into her stomach, and actually rest at the base of the stomach. Could not go any deeper if she tried. And once that sword is deep down inside, she will then do something other sword swallowers dare not do. She will double her body in half, <laughs> taking a great big bow. She will then twist over to you. And at this point, she's going to give you a signal. Signals one of two things. First off, if she winks at you like that, yeah? <laughs> or she makes this noise, ah! <laughs> That's your cue to grab the end of the sword and extract it from her body. <laughs> the wing is yes, the wing, probably just the wing. Here, just to be clear though, watch. You're gonna hold it right here, nice and firm, okay? 
listen, now, don't do this. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it's called murder. All right. <laughs> Just trade places with me. You stand right here. Heather's going to stand right there. Listen, don't be nervous. Just remember, if you mess up, she dies. Can I just confirm something? Uh, yeah. We did not rehearse this, and I did not know this was coming. Yeah. If I go down for murder, it was not my fault. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah! And Heather is always ready. So, guys, here we go. Pass the lips. Pass the gums. Watch out, stomach. Here it comes. Wait, 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 wait. Right over here, come right on up there. Grab the end of the sword. There you go. Pull it out. You're doing for it. There you go. Yeah! Let's hear it for Mark, ladies and gentlemen. And let's hear it for Heather Holiday. My name's Donnie Vomit. We're the curious couple from Coney. Thank you. Oh my God, that was intense. Adam, make some noise for the curious couple from Coney.